All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. I greet you all once again. All right, wonderful people. Uh, great people of Biafra, um, I salute you all once again in the name of Chuko Kikabi Amapuimi Henile. Uh, this is going to be a very quick one, emergency broadcast. You know, a lot of things are happening, and I want you to go to my article. You will see what I put there. I put a very long article about what I'm about to discuss today, but... Uh, they couldn't allow me to go live, so I have to shorten the article. So I just put Mazin Namdekano health condition in DSS dungeon in Abuja, Nigeria. That is the issue that I want to talk about today because I really put a lot of a very good article that will draw the attention of people so that people will understand what I'm saying, but they couldn't allow me to come live. So what should I do? I have to cut it short. As you are joining, please don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your loved ones, invite people that are around you to tell them to come and listen to what I have to say today because it's very, very imperative that we say things that matters to our struggle. It does not matter uh, what they do. It does not matter what they feel. But we will keep on preaching the gospel of Biafran Restoration Project. Uh, but before I will proceed, I would like to introduce myself to you all so that you will understand who is speaking to you people today about the leader of indigenous people of Biafra Mazen Namdi Okuchukukano. Almost always remember this and always keep it in your mind that Mazen Namdekano is a prisoner of conscience. Mazin Namdekano did not commit any crime. Mazin Namdekano, uh, as far as they have took Mazin Namdekano to court, and the so-called competent court in that contraption have said that Mazin Namdekano should be released, and the court by themselves discharged him and acquitted him. That is something that our people have to understand. And whenever I'm telling my people that Nigerians don't know what is law or order, Nigeria don't know what is order or law, that is something that you're supposed to understand. So whenever we are telling you that Nigeria is a man-made, Nigeria was not fixed by Shuko Kikabi Amapuri Mihenina. That is why you are seeing all these shenanigans every single day displaying without no correction and without no direction. And I hope you people are getting the point. And uh, let me introduce myself, like I said, all right, wonderful people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. I still remain Mazo Kinna Okechuku, known as the Bia franchise in Washineke. The general, I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPO beyond the chain of command. Mazin Nam Dioku Chukukano, who is today in DSS dungeon, suffering humiliation because of me and you. He is a prisoner of conscience. And he is the highest commander in this movement, the highest authority in this movement of Biafran Restoration Project. There is no doubt about it. His position remains his position. Nobody is going to take any position from away from him. I know some of them are there ranting, yapping, talking all sort of rubbish from their mouth, saying that uh, some people have hijacked Mazen Namdekano position. Nobody can do that because we are here to protect the position of Mazen Namdekano. And every one of us knows that Mazen Namdekano is the highest commander. Every one of us knows that Mazen Namdekano is the highest authority. But as it stands today, of course we know where Mazin Namdekano is. Mazin Namdekano is not out here with us. Mazin Namdekano is somewhere 
in Abuja, in DSS dungeon, they are beating him, you know, torturing him, you know, doing all manners of things to him. Can't even allow him to see his doctor. That is the issue I am here today to discuss. And some also some update that I'm going to read out, some article, fabricated article by, you know, by Nigerian government because they know how to deceive people. They love propaganda. They love propaganda. And we are here to debunk every lies from pit of hell. Now, before I will continue on Mazin Namdekano, like I said, Mazin Shike Dozium is the one in charge. And there is nothing you can do about it. It have become, it have come on this situation that Mazin Namdekano is somewhere. Of course, he's still alive. And we thank Shuko Kikabiyama that he's still alive today upon what they did to him in Kenya, upon those that knew, knew that Mazin Namdekano was there and they are keeping quiet. Some of them knew that Mazin Namdekan was there for eight days. They did not say anything. They were keeping quiet, telling us that is the way they are going to do it. They are telling us that uh, they are doing underground. You know, you think that it's going to work. I keep on saying this. Collectively, we are going to restore Biafra. If you are waiting for all this, if you are waiting for this IPOB, this group of people called IPOB, to restore Biafra for you, it's going to take us millions of years. That is why we have to come collectively and push this struggle forward so that Biafra will be restored, so that the dignity will be restored, so that the kingdom of Chukwu Gigabiam on this earth will be restored. But if you are waiting for only IPOB, <laughs> you see, it's going to take us a long time. And they will keep on marginalizing us in that contraption. I'm going to read a lot of news to you people today to see that Nigeria is not for you. Better you understand now. It's going to be good for us. But if it's too late, when the fulanization and Islamization will take over the land of Biafra, of course it's not going to happen because we are here. We are praying to Chukwu Kikabi Amapuri Mihenina always that Biafra must come in our time. But the reason why I'm here today is to let you people understand that Mazin Namdekano health condition is keep on getting more worse. But they have put us in a put us in a state of imagination. Whenever I use these words, some people will come to me and begin to tell me, "Have you uh, getting yourself away from state of imagination?" No, I'm still in the same state of imagination because they told us that Mazin Namdekano is on the mountain praying. I keep on saying this, and this is something that I will keep on saying without any missing words. I'm not coming here to use a vocal words to anybody, but I'm telling you people, if we did the needful, believe you me, Mazin Namdekano will never be in DSS. I swear to Almighty Chukwu Kikabiyama. Put him here in If we do, if, if we, we did the needful, by alarming, by raising our voices, Telling the world, telling the people of IPOB, telling those people that they are followers of Mazen Namdekano, that he is in DSS dungeon. Believe you me, we are not going to be in this mess that we are. I'm telling you people, the honestly speaking. But the one thing about it, that those people that they made that mistake, they don't want to also admit that they did a mistake. They are now turning it around, telling you people that but to Mazi Chike, is there. But to Mazi Chike, is there. Maza is Ayoba, our head of media, the uh, coordinator of all coordinators, that they are there. They, they don't know where their leader is. They don't know where their leader is. My grammatical has to be correct. They don't know where their leader is. You don't know there is something behind it. Of course, nobody will hear such a thing. We said, how can a leadership we be somewhere or they have organization or they have a directorate of state called DOS and they don't know where their leader is? Believe you me, anybody that heard such a thing will never accept it. But it will take you a time to begin to digress and understand 
there is something, there is something missing somewhere. There is a lapsus. There is a species in between. That is why such a thing happened. But it will take you a very, very, you know, reasonable. It takes a reasonable somebody. Somebody that have ability to reason. To understand there is something wrong somewhere. That is why you see Mazichi Ikeidosian was, was not aware that Mazen Nambikan was in Kenya. But at the end, they laid the allegation on them. And we came out here to also debunk, debunk it. That of course they are the leadership. But there is some lapses. That is why such a thing happened. And we are praying to Chukwo Kikabi Amapuri Mehilene. As far as our leader succeeded, Ishuko Kikabiyama. Ishuko Kikabiyama. Because a person in capacity of Mazen Namdekano being kidnapped in Kenya, their intention was to did something to this man. There is no two ways about, about it. There is no... Do you think that these people want to Rendition of Mazen Namdekano back to Nigeria to kill him there. No, they would like to deal with him in Kenya. But it's unfortunate. And Chukwu Kikabiyama being with Mazen Namdekano. That is why such a thing couldn't happen to him. That is why he succeeded in that, in that, I don't want to call the name. But one thing I'm telling you in our people, in this life that we are, three things always involve in life. Man will grow old, Man will seek and man will die. One now, one, there is no two way. One kick is we are caught here. But before I will continue, I would like to, us to hear the voice of Mazen Namdekano. Before I will go in details, before I will bring out this message that I want to give to my people, and also talking to the zoo called Nigeria, there is a time that we're supposed to now begin to reason as a people. They have denied us everything in totality. We are not part of Nigeria, and we can never be part of Nigeria. There is no, you see, I don't know how you people are going to understand this. I'm going to also talk about, a little bit about religion. Because I'm seeing everything that is happening today, all shenanigans, parading themselves, talking all sort of rubbish, misbehaving, shouting uh, like an idiot. All those things is something that we are going to fight till Biafra comes. I have told you people, make Biafra your religion. Because Biafra supersedes every other things. Now, let me stop it there. Let me, let us listen to Mazen Nambi Okuchukukano before we continue. Let us listen to Mazen Okuchukukano. Only you start for me. you Tukundino <laughs> the children of the kingdom of heaven in the states the children of the kingdom of heaven a name that came before white people even brought their Bible to us. We answer Umujuku, we answer Obasi. 
We answer Tamono. These are your names, but these are also the names that we bear. To say that the time has come for you to come down from heaven. That thy will upon the lives of your children may be done in our lifetime. And that time has come. And it is Biafra. Because you told me that they will invade our land. And that invasion has commenced. They have come. That is as why you promised me. That is why so in the coming weeks and months, men and women are going to die. But after that, Biafra, Biafra shall be restored. What you are called? We want to be alive in the land of the living to give your name, praise, adoration, adulation, exaltation, and glory. Because Biafra is yours. Now and forevermore we pray. Isse. 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 Thank you, Onyendu. You told us. You told us. You told us. You told us, Onyendu. You told us that they are coming. You told us, please, you should keep quiet, please. You told us that they will come. And they are here. Now you understand they are here. They told you people that uh, Muslim Muslim ticket means to them jihad. Now you understand. They are now killing our people. They are now destroying our properties and souls of people in Biafra land. That is what is happening today. And there is no how you can ever shy away from that. We always face reality. We are not going to worship man-made. I had a fellow say happy happy. We worship only one chuko kikabi ama puri ni heni ene. Onye kere ni gbenu wama na wano onye kere yano. Obo onye ayena yobiko. We say abi ayin ira yaka. And whenever we are praying to chuko kikabi ama, you know some of our people are very very daft in school. They always thought that we are calling chuko kikabi ama to come from heaven and come and fight for us. No. We are trying to preserve, we are trying to be able to have our own. Only African people are those that are following things that they brought to them. Only African people, nobody else. Go to Asia, come to Europe, you see they have the way of their life. Only African people with their primitive life, dark ages. That is why today we never reason. That is why today we never learn anything. That is why today we are still backward. That is why today common cholera are killing our people in Biafra land, in the whole Africa. Because we don't want to learn. We don't want to stand on our own. We don't want to believe in ourselves. We are depending on them to come and help us. That is why today in our land, they are using our people as a sacrificial lamb. To make Nigeria to stand. But today. Now let me talk about the issue of. According to. Sangoru, a man that. Chukwokikabiyama will bless. A man that is working. Assiduously on this. Biafran restoration project. That Biafra will never see evil. I always praise Mazi Shinas and Woru. Some people don't know the reason why. I never met him. But there is something that he did that makes me to love him. The beginning of these shenanigans, when they called him, because they know that if they can be able to get to Mazi Shinas and Woru, they can destroy this movement just on a twinkle of eyes. But he rejected. He said, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take the position of Mazen Namdekano. I'm not going to, you know, destroy what this man has been building. Though there is some lapses, like I said, there is some gaps in between when they kidnap our leader. But they came back because they themselves they also have human feelings. Things may go wrong. That is why people are disagree to agree. It have come to this situation that they are not going to abandon 
their leader, which is also our leader. That is why they step up to be able to do the needful. But I keep on telling you people today, if Mazichina Samoru compromised, if he compromised two years ago, we are not going to be here. I am telling you people the truth. Because by today, all our gallant men, all our security outfit, by today they're supposed to destroy everything. Probably he will take his own share and begin to live his life. But Mazishina Samoru, you know, throw back things that they also have promised Mazen Namdekan and he rejected. And at his time, they begin to also promise him. We remember they told him to change ESN command to, uh, to what they call it. I've forgotten what they, they told him to change it. Um, uh, uh, DOS to ESN command. That is what they told him. And they know that he is the one in position to be able to carry that mission on. And when he does that, that means that they have gotten us. So, Mazishina Samura, I salute you so much. Keep on doing your work. Now, let us go to, like I said, I'm not going to waste much of your time. It's not, it's not, go, it's not going to be so much long. That is why I want people to listen to this. According to Mazishina Samoru, according to Mazishina Samoru, I'm going to go to his page because we pay attention to the leadership. Mazishina Samoru is one of the DOS, Directorate of State. And I listen to him very, very well. There is no day that I will not go to his page, his Twitter handle, to watch and see. And most of the times I also retweet. Most of the time I tweet what he wrote, his article, but I will copy it and tweet it. You know, we don't lie. We don't lie. Now, according to Mazishina Samoru, this is it here. According to Mazishina Samoru, I want you people to see it. This is Mazishina Samoru page. You know, we don't do things the way we feel. Mostly me, I don't do things on my own. I always look towards the leadership to know what we are going to say and what not to say. Because we have gotten to that time to stop putting our people in a state of imagination. You tell them reality. You don't have to lie to them. Let them face the reality. Let them face reality. Don't begin to lie to them. Don't begin to manipulate their brain. Don't begin to brainwash them. It's not going to help us. Things that you know you cannot do, you begin to lie. You see, Biafra can never come on lie. Now you understand what I'm saying. Now let me read out what Mazishina Samuru said before I'll continue. Mazishina Samuru said, if Nigerian DSS could not help or find a qualified doctor to handle Bugari's ear infection during his eight years of administration, which is the dead Bugari, you know, we are just trying to, you know, make point. Because sometimes some people will say, but you said that Bugari have died. Then why are you still calling Bugari? Yes, we have to make our point. Because our people are very gullible. Those people that find themselves in that country, they are very, 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 very gullible. You know, they can't even come out and tell the world that the man that we know as a Bugari is not the man that is parading himself as a Bugari today. We all know that Bugari have died. But whenever we want to make a statement for to clear the air or for you to understand, we are going to put him in that position so that you will know. Remember when Bugari was running to London Hospital like uh, Eban Eshumili? Eban Mwari just they go something that he want to fix. That is how they run around, traveling to abroad for their health issues. And you are there telling me that Nigeria is a giant of Africa. Is it not what you're telling me? There is no hospital. There is no standard and equipped hospital in that contraption. 
even though the Aisha Burare came out last time, that was two, three years ago, said that the money that they gave people to equip Asorok Hospital, they, they just, you know, pocket the money. They just stolen the money. Aisha Buhari, to the extent that she said, there is no even Panadol in Asorok, Villas Hospital. There is no Panadol. And you begin to ask yourself, every year, they are mapping out money to equip, to buy drugs in this hospital. But somebody, somewhere, faceless human being, ghost worker, is there, stolen the money. They will be just paying the money to his account. And when you go to this hospital, you cannot find anything. That is why you see Bugatti was running till he died. They could have saved this man in 2017 when he died in London Hospital. But Bugatti have brain damage when he get to Mar uh, Egypt or Morocco. No, to, I think Tunisia. When they have transit between these three countries. I have I have forgotten exactly. That's why I'm standing also to be corrected. But they have a transit in African country, I think uh, in Egypt, before they flew to London Hospital. Bugare have brain damage there. They could have saved this idiot called Bugare if there is something like a equipped and standard hospital in that contraption. They could have saved the man trying to help him before they will get there. But there is no equipment. That is why you see people are dying every single day in that contraption. That is why people are dying just like a, a, a Christmas fowl. And none of you don't want to learn. You are still there, sheepishly, following those people that want to lead you to hellfire. Now let me continue. According to dead Bugari. I mean, according to Mazishina Samoru to dead Bugari. Let me take it once again, but I just want to let you people understand who I'm saying so that you people will not think that we don't know what we are saying. Yes, if Nigerian DSS could not help and or find a qualified doctor to handle Bugatti's ear infection during his eight years of administration, how come the DSS suddenly have a doctor in their team that can handle or carry out Yes, uh, surgical operation on Mazen Namdekano. I doubt so much anyone in his or her right senses would allow or agree with them to carry out this operation on Mazen Namdekano ear. Now, do you understand that Mazen Namdekano have a serious issue? We don't lie. The kind of beating that Mazen Namdekano received in Kenya the kind of slap, let me put it in that way, because not only, the, first of all, you know, African way of intimidation. You people know it. Very primitive people. Very, very primitive. Africans are very, very primitive. Dark ages. That is why they don't reason at all. There is no respect for human being. There is no respect for humanity. A police will arrest you. First, he will begin to woze you slap. The kind of slap they slapped Mazen Namdekano developed ear problem. Mazen Namdekano never had ear problem before. But they were doing all these things to him. They were molesting him. They were beating him into submission. They want him to submit to them. But Chukwo Kikabiyama, Kalionyo Obona. Now, my our question is, I want to use this man in London Hospital today as an example. He's just a common person. He's nobody. He can't remember he's nobody. But today he's in, the, uh, he's in uh, 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 I think, uh, England, uh, he's in England jail for 10 years. Just imagine that he can't remember that he's nobody, just a senator traveling here and there. Common, even though his daughter, they can't even make surgery to this man, to that, that to to his daughter. In that contraption. He have to take the daughter to England. 
he have to smuggle somebody, he have to kidnap somebody and smuggle that person to London for surgery. What does that tell you? That tells you that there is no hospital in that contraption. You see, all these our people that are going to hospital in that contraption is by the grace of Chuko Kikabiyama they are surviving. Nothing is working. Our people are so wicked that then we also go and, con and I mean, bring shocks. Shocks that they, they are taking to write something on a blackboard. They will smash it and use it to do fencing. They don't even care about your life. They don't care about human. They only care about how to make money because of the poverty. Because of the way that contraption is. That is why people are finding it so difficult. And that is the reason why people are dying like just nothing. And as I'm speaking to you today, do you know in Africa, for somebody to die is just nothing. That is why when you go to their streets, you will see dead bodies on the street. Nobody cares. Even though you are going to see a police checking point where the dead body is, they don't care. In Europe, if, let me say it, somebody is building a house here in Germany, and as the caterpillar is digging the ground, and they saw a bone, or they see any bone there, first they will stop it, they will call police. I'm just trying to tell you, maybe this person have died for maybe like 30 years. That house, they will stop it. They will round it up, they will call police. They will begin to check. How did this person come to bury in that place? The investigation will start. But just imagine in Africa, in that contraption, you will see a dead body next to the roadside. We have all this police checking point next to that place. Maybe one 30, 30 meters from where, from, where, from where the dead body is. They don't even care. They don't even care. That to show you how evil black people is. So if dead Bulgarian, Ike Premad, let me come there first. Because I don't want to, you know, I just digress a little bit and come back again. That is why Ike Premad is today in, in jail. If they have a standard with all the whole money he have stolen, he could have built a very good hospital. Bugari, Bugari when this dead, this Bugari was alive in 2017. After this, this man entered inside that office, within that year, he began to travel. Because what they are doing to them is like, then we begin to inject them a lot of things like what they are doing to Tinubu now. A man that's supposed to be resting. A man that have grandkids. A man that have what it takes. But you know power is only in, in Africa you will see people fighting for power. Power tells us. If as Tinubu is today, he have ha Tinubu, I will tell you Tinubu is the, the richest man in that Africa. I will tell you, because the man is a very rich man. But because of power, even though before the campaign, you will see that Tinubu is more stronger. But because of a lot of things coming here and there, a lot of stress, the kind of promises that Fulani have promised him and they want to reap him at the end, you know, all these things bring stress. If you go to Dave Umahi now, Dave Umahi is dying in silence. Okay, Z also is dying in silence because they have promised them a lot of things and they did not fulfill it. And all these things is things that is also giving Tinubu a problem. They promised him with the agreement they had with them, with the Fulanis. At the end, they want to swallow, they want to rip him. And all those stress with, you know, trying to meet these people, trying to talk to these people, trying to organize people, all this thing is a stretch. With his age, he begin to go down. Every day he will be going down because there's a lot of stress. If Tinubu did not come out for this presidency, believe me, Tinubu will never be in this situation he is. 
Now he's flying to France, here and there. Now they are telling you when uh, Garo Bashew and Lailai Mohammed, your line information minister, they have packed their properties and go back to where, you know, to their terrorist organization, trying to tell them how to organize themselves. Now they are no more in office. That is their plan now, how they will begin to use them to start their, you know, their mission of Islamization and fulanization. Now, Bugari, no, no, DSS Dungeon couldn't find a doctor that will take care of Bugari. Ear problem. Now they want to push it on Mazen Namdekano. We are saying to Nigerian government DSS in Abuja that you people should free Mazen Namdekano. Remember. Our people are very bad species. We are very, very wicked. We are very, very wicked. Just imagine. Mazin Namdekano, the mad piece of beer from people. They are using Mazin Namdekano to cash out. People are killing today, destroying of souls in the name of Mazin Namdekano. And Nigerian government knows that quite right. Because they are using their agents. They are using their pulpits. They just want to keep Mazin Namdekano there. Now Mazin Namdekano is suffering. Ear problem, heart problem. Mazin Namdekano, we said it last time, Mazin Namdekano will eat food. After eating food, the food will not digest. And Mazin Namdekano will be now perceiving the odor from his stomach to his mouth. We came out last time, we said about it. Some people came out. They were saying that Mazin Namdekano was fine. They came out and showed us the picture of Mazin Namdekano. Ma the picture that Mazin Namdekano took before his kidnap and rendition to that contraption. They begin to show it. Every picture was circulating all the whole social media. I begin to ask myself, this picture that these people are, you know, flagging out there, is it the picture that Mazen Namdekano took in DSS dungeon? They were flying it. Mazen Namdekano is fine. Mazishin Hasanwaru is lying. Now I want them to come out and tell us, is it true that Mazin Namdekano want to undergo ear surgery? That is my question to them. If we are lying, let them come out. Mostly the siblings of Mazin Namdekano. I don't want to call them today because they are the people that are saying that we are lying. I want them to come out now and tell us what Mazishin Asawaru said, that Mazin Namdekano, I doubt so much anyone in his or her right senses will allow or agree with them to carry out the operation on Mazin Namdekano's ear. Now you understand it. I want to ask them this question. Is Mazin Namdekano is going are they going to operate Mazen Namdekano? Is Mazen Namdekano having a problem with his ear? Is Mazen Namdekano demanding for operation on his ear? Or, you know, this is my question. Because when we were saying all these things, some people were out there saying that we are lying. That Mazen Namdekano is fine. That is during election time. Are you still hearing their voice? The answer is no. So we are telling Nigerian government if dead Bugari can die in London hospital and you couldn't find any doctor that can carry the, the operation on Bugari's ear, how now have you find a doctor that is going to carry operation on Mazin Namkan ear? How did you find the doctor? And you couldn't find doctor on Tinubu? 
You couldn't find doctor on that dead Burari. You know, some of you are daft in school. Some of you are very wicked species. You will be asking me, how would you compare Mazin Namdekan with these people? Mazin Namdekan is well known in the world more than all these people. Mazin Namdekan have been celebrated in the whole wide world. Mazin Namdekan is the leader of the largest movement on this planet Earth. Mazin did not, Mazin did, did not pay anybody. When Mazin Namdekan was in Biafra land, you see the crowd that are following Mazin Namdekan. Can you tell me in the history of that contraption up to date, who have, you know, getting to that level of Mazin Namdekan by not paying anybody, but you will see crowd following him, ready to die for his sake, ready to defend him, ready to take bullet for him, which it happens in Afaruki Bek. 28 men died defending him. Oga, you have to go. Oga, you have to go. We have to take you out. We are here to defend you. And we can die because of you. That is why 28 men died in Afaruki Bek. How many people can do that without paying the money? The world knows about us. The world knows about Mazen Namdekano. So there is no public figure. There is no, Mazen Namdekan is the highest in Africa as today, as I'm speaking to you people today. Mazen Namdekan is a well-known person in the whole wide world. Just one minute, my people. Yes, my people. So, my question now is, Mazin Namdekanu is suffering from ear problem and is very, very urgent that Nigerian government should free Mazin Namdekanu since the court have discharged him. The same court come out and said, they came at the same day said, there will be no more charges, they, no more charge on Mazen Namdekano. They should not bring Mazen Namdekano back to court or put any allegation on him again. But today the man is still there. But the people called their brother to Mazen Namdekano. I'm not talking about the siblings. I'm talking about our people in general now. They don't even care. They don't even care. Mazishin Asamoru said it on his broadcast. They confronted Ifan Yoba when the rumor was going out. I want you people to pay attention because some of you are daft in school. I'm going to get there. They confronted Ifan Yoba. Is it true that they used your aircraft to bring back Mazen Nam to rendition him? He said no, but he's his friend. So he knows about it. You know, we don't lie. He said they use his friend aircraft. Then he knows about it. He knows about it. Now you understand what I'm saying. So the health of Mazen Namdekano is getting worse and worse every single day. And we can never afford to lose this man. We heard what Mazen Namdekan told us. And everything that Mazen Namdekan told us is still in our heart. It's a high time we begin to do things in secrecy. No more coming out and begin to shout. No. We are just broadcasting normal to tell them that we know what Mazen Namdekan told us. And it's still in our heart. And we are going to carry everything that he told us. I know some people are jumping around, saying all manners of things, deceiving themselves because of the because they are double agent, trying to lie against Mazen Namdekan. But I'm telling the Nigerian government 
allow this man to see his private doctor. Because all these things that you people are planning is not going to work. And believe you me, we have said it. I am not coming here to begin to, you know, shout or begin to tell you what Mazen Namikani told us. We have passed that stage. If you people heard what Mazi Baristifan Yejofosa said, we have gotten to that point. They are all blind today. They don't know what is going on. Is Biafran child know what is going on in Biafran restoration? 101% I know. But the other side of people, the counterparts, the idiots, the, 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 the known entities, they know nothing. They are blind. They are waiting. When the day that we, we are going to say, Mazen Namdekano is coming to court, you will see all of them, they will jump out. Saying sit at home. Declare sit at home in Hobia Finland. They are blind. They know nothing. They don't know what is going on. That is why, are you hearing anything from them? I told you, any person that know where Mazishin Asawuru is, if you people have hero, there, hero beer, make on a buy a one. Make on a buy a one. You know, when all these shenanigans started, we be able to identify a lot of people. They were working on the ground. You see them before they will jump out, before DOS will discuss something on the ground. You will see them, they will jump out and begin to say, we are going to do this, we are going to do that. Are you still hearing such a thing again? The answer is no. You can't. And you can never. Because we have put them in a trash. No single information. They are now waiting the day that one of the DOS will come on Radio Biafra and announce that Mazen Namdekano is coming to court. Or then we put it on directed of state Twitter. That is when they will start. All of them now, they are mute. They are blind. Funny, I mean, a, a, a masquerade something. That is what they are doing today. You see, now we have gotten to that level because secrecy is the key. Secrecy to keep the secret within yourself not to come outside and begin to tell them what you are going to do you remember when mazi shike dozim after the rendition mazi namdekana and things were not getting good with other people with all this umakata they call mazi shike dozim that is when he was begin to figure out what he can do after he find his safer landing he came out and told you people. Mazen Namdekano tells you people what he want to do. But this time around, he's not going to tell you anything that he's about to do. He will remain with him till you will see it. Are you now seeing that now our ESN did something there? We are now, we are going on the ground. This is how freedom fighting is supposed to be. We are now on the ground. You can't know anything. Mazen Namdekano life is in danger. Mazen Namdekano want to undergo surgery on his ear. I think his ear drum, I don't know what is really happening. We are not there. But according to the leadership, they have come out and said it. And this thing that I'm giving to you people is authentic information. Morocco, they told me that Bugari died in Morocco. Casablanca, you are right. Casablanca before they flew to him. Uh, to, to London Hospital and he died there. Casablanca, Morocco. You're right. Mazin Namdekano health condition is very, very in bad condition. Mazin Namdekano is suffering a lot of things. The kind of things they did to him in Kenya. They did a lot of things to this man. They did, they, the way they tortured this man. Physical torture. Physical torture. Because they were those people that kidnapped Mazen Namdekano. They have already laid allegation on Mazen Namdekano that he is a terrorist. That he is the one that are funding Boko Haram. He is working with Isba. So the people that caught him were dealing with him mercilessly. Hitting him here and there. They, my two by two, my, my two by two, my two point, everything was on Mazen Namdekano. But he survived it. Because of the grace 
that you go kikabiyama put on him. That is why he survived. But I want you people to understand this. I'm still repeating it again. Those siblings of Mazen Namdekan that we are posting that Mazen Namdekan is fine. I want them to come out and also tell us, is it lie that Mazen Namdekanu is about to go, undergoes ear surgery? I'm asking them to come and tell us if it's a lie. Now you understand what I'm saying. I want them to come and tell us if it's a lie. Because we want to know it's a lie. Or they should, you know, publish another new picture of Mazen Namdekanu. Because code of conduct have gone. We have... You know, trash code of conduct. The infiltrators, of course, they have gone. Are you seeing us talking about them? We are now focusing on Biafran restoration project. At the same time, I now appear in the religion totally because I'm going to talk about them. Because there are some things they said that I myself heard about it. And I want to tell them if they are in that path, believe you me, they are not part of what we're doing. And I have understand that these people are, they, they, believe you me, they are not human beings. They, they don't reason. You think that sometimes some people can put suits like me and they wear good dress, you think that they, 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 they reasons. So we are saying that Nigerian DSS and we are calling the international community. Sometimes some of you will say, why are you calling international community? Of course, we have to call them. The reason why we lost the war during 1967 to 1970, of course, our people was not patient enough to take that war more six months. We, can, we could have won the war. We lost the war. You know, you people don't want to tell yourself the truth. You people don't want to fix reality. We lost the war. They, 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 they massacred, they, they maimed our people. They maimed our people. Over 10 million people were killed in Biafra land. The one that you are hearing, 3.5, was just a recorded one. The one they recorded. You know, African version of, uh, you know, counting. That is why Fulani will tell you they are more in numbers than other people. They count cow plus. But in our own, they will begin to reduce. Some people are telling you, Fulani are telling you that they, they are 6% or 5%. But in numbers, they are more than you. <laughs> Can you imagine? So I'm telling my people, let us begin to do the needful. Let us focus on Biafran restoration on Mazen Namdekano to free him. Because Mazen Namdekano have done his best in this Biafran restoration. He have tried. His parents died because of the trauma. And he was, he was keep on by that time, keep on broadcasting. The thing did not weigh him down. He was broadcasting. You know, all the time. We are asking Nigerian government, you know, it have come to the time of Tinubu. We are now calling Tinubu to release Mazen Namdekano. We are calling Tinubu, the president of that contraption called Daminebu Zoo, Nigeria. Tinubu is the president. Believe you me, we face reality. Who are you not to say that Tinubu is not the president? Why the, Niger why the American have sent their delegate to congr congratulate and uh, you know, make some speech about the president-elect Tinubu? And you are there, still shouting that you are going to court. Why the America you are seeing every day as the highest, you know, people in this world have spoken, telling you that they have already congratulated you. You are still going to court. You will go to a court till that kingdom come. Eight years will finish. OP, I'm telling you, I have told you this. I don't want to be repeating this. You know that you will fail you. OP, you know that you lose and you have already lose already. Go and sit down and wait for, for your four years. You'll come back and begin to brainwash our people. So I'm calling upon President Tinubu, Ahmed Tinubu. I'm calling on you. Free Mazen Namdekano. You know that Mazen Namdekano have been free. They have discharged him. Free him. We are from South. 
we are from SARS. We have some things in common with Yoruba people. Yoruba Odudua. We have some things in common. You know, we always face reality. Yoruba people are learned people. You know why I'm calling upon Ahmed Tinubu? Is for us to be able to understand each other. Don't let Fulanese, don't let the caliphate, don't let the all these uncircumcised idiots that are coming from Sahel, Nijeo, Senegambia, trooping into that contraption. Making it ungovernable to you people. Making life miserable to people that they find themselves in that contraption. Don't let them put enmity between the Biafran people and Yoruba. We are next to each other. You know, we say things the way it is. I am calling on President elect. I not a president, he's a president. You forget about he have already there. He have already taken the position. I am calling upon Tinubu to do something urgent and free Mazen Nambikan. So that let us have understanding between the Biafrans and Yoruba people. The mission and vision of Fulanese is to put enmity between us. We have gone a long way in this struggle of Biafran restoration and Yoruba nation, Odudua nation. We have gone a long way. Our leader have, you know, you know, have played his own impact by, you know, telling the Yorubas that they can stand on their own. Even though he take us back when uh, that Nigeria was uh, a, a, a regional, he told us how our war was in Yoruba land, building his land. Zeke was in our land, now Bagali, because that one is an idiot. I, I, I keep on saying this. Zeke is a non-entity. Zeke is nobody. That is why the, 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 you, there is nothing like a Zeke today. The, the first son of Zeke is nowhere to be found. Because he's a coward. Amodu Bello is in the northern part of uh, part of the, uh, Nigeria, which is north. Is there preparing his own people how to take over the whole Nigeria? Why Zeke is there, telling you let us forget our about our differences and continue and forge ahead. That to show you that Zeke is a non-entity. So. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Nigerian president. Do the needful. Don't let Fulanese use you. Don't let Fulanese put a problem between Yorubas and Biafran people. We are next to each other. We are next to each other. I'm not saying that I'm threatening anybody. I'm just trying to let you people know that we and Yoruba's people, Odudua, we have things in common. We can be able to trade together. We can be able to put things together to work as a people. Because the Yoruba Odudua people, they understand humanity. Though they are playing their game because this is how Nigeria, you know, politics is all about. That is why you see they are playing this game. But if you look the way of Yoruba people, you will know that these people understand. That is why a war be able to give their own people free education. Why Zeke is in our land fighting for Zeke of Africa. A war is in Yoruba land fighting for free education. He gave their people free education. Amadou Bello is there fighting to be able, I mean, find the way that they are going to Islamize and take over. Now, do you see the difference between these three people? But they are still telling you that these people are the founding fathers. When Nigeria was amalgamated, Zeke was three years old. So when you are hearing about founding father, don't mind them. We were not there when they amalgamated Nigeria. We were not there. None of us were there. They just come and write one document, I don't know, just put it, stamp it, because all of us are buffoons. We are animals, so you don't know before, including me. 
But today we have learned and understand the ethics of this life. That is why we can be able to come and begin to preach to our people. Gospel. Gospel. I'm still telling Ahmed Itinubu to do the needful. It's very, very important. Because Ahmed Itinubu he can do something also to quench this light that is burning so that we will forge ahead. Thank you, my people. Let me show you people what they are saying again. Because we don't lie. When you see all these things, it's a lie. Now, this is another fake news. This is a another fa fake news, breaking news. Tinubu met with IPOB leader, Prophet Mazen Namdekano, DSS custody. Let me turn it very well. Breaking news, Tinubu met with, Tinubu met IPOB leader, Prophet Mazen Namdekano, DSS custody today, 6th June 2023. A lie. And begin and beg him for nego negotiation to drop Biafran agitation that he will take care of Igbo's demand in Nigeria that caused the agitation. Kanu insists that Biafra is non-negotiable. That Tinubu should... No, they did not finish it. This is it here. It's a fake news. Before Tinubu, we go and see our leader. Of course, we are going to know about it. That is why when Soludo came out and said that he met with our leader, the other side of people are saying that it wasn't Mazen Namdekano. We confirm it. Soludo met with our leader. He met with Mazen Namdekano one on one in DSS dungeon. So this one now you are seeing now is a lie. Tinubu never met with our leader. But we are telling Tinubu to release Mazen Namdekano. Now they must wear him. Because we know that Buhari have died in 2017. Which Tunubu himself knows that Buhari have died. That is the game. And that is the, I mean, the offer they gave to Buhari. They caught a deal. And, Buhari, and Tinubu being somebody that keeps secret, he be able to get to that position to become your president. And that is exactly what we are fighting for today. To always go on the ground. Not to come out on social media and begin to say we are going to do this, we are going to do that. No. Those people that have gotten their freedom, none of them were shouting on social media telling you we are going to do this. No. What man will do is in his mind. Keep it by yourself. And do the needful. Do the needful. And I'm also urging our brothers, our leadership. I'm just trying to say this. I think that it's a time that we're supposed to stop all these protests in Biafra land. I'm just saying this because we are coming out, they are killing us. Let us keep on secret. Let us be doing everything we are doing secret. Anyone that we can be able to bring out, we bring it out. Let us keep it secret. We shouldn't tell anybody what we are doing. Protests, we stop it. All this praying, gathering praying, we stop it. We pray as we are praying, they are killing our people. Why are we praying? How many of you the prayer have helped? How many of you the prayer have helped? As we are praying, they are killing us. They don't even care that we are praying. They don't care. No, no, no. So why should we go and begin to gather ourselves and begin to pray? Why they will come and massacre us? Or why are we bringing ourselves on the street saying we are praying? The one we are doing in Europe is enough. It's enough for us. Let us stop putting our people in a, in a, in a, in a, I mean, in a, in a tight corner. We should stop all these things. It's not going to help us. They are killing our people more and more. Unless we are ready to confront them, then we come out on the street and confront them. Whatever will happen, will happen. Man dies, woman burns another. That is why you see Mazen Namde can always cry on this Biafran restoration project. And he have said, either we restore Biafra, or he will die restoring Biafra. Do you know why he says so? He knows that one day he will die. Mazin Namdekan knows that nobody will live on this earth forever. 
That is why sometimes when I look at this life, I ask myself, who, 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 who created us on this earth? You know we are going to die. Why do you put confusion between humanity? Why? Why do you allow religion here and there? People are fighting every day. You are, but you are saying you are, they are praying to one God, but they are fighting each other. Isn't it? Then where is that one God? You know, sometimes I always question what, what brought us to this earth. You know that we are going to die. Why, I, why, do, why, why, why should you, why did you people created money? Why did you people created all these things that will make humanity, We make human to begin to fight each other? And you are telling me that somebody is there, they are promising you heaven. I don't believe in all these things. But I myself, I have already accept that someday that I will die. I have already de defeated it. That is why I always use myself as an example. In contraption, they will tell you, don't use yourself as an example. No, 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 that is not your portion. But you know that someday you are going to die. And you are be and when he will be saying, you don't know that there's somebody that is praying to you or lay your, his hand or her hand on you, telling you you are not going to die. Believe you me, that person is cursing you. Is cursing you. Because you know that you will die. But they are here buying private jets. So Tinubu did not meet with our leader. And Mazen Namdekano have said, even though he met with our leader, with the concorded and fabricated lie they put out there, Mazen Namdekano also told them, according to the lie, according to the lie, Biafra is non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. If it's true. But we know that it's, true. it's not true. Because... This message is from Mazishina Sanwaru page. You know, we don't lie. If I don't bring message from Mazishina Sanwaru, from where do you think I'm going to bring it? Where do you think I'm going to bring it? From you. From your lie. The leadership communicates with our lawyer, our barrister, if I'm a Jofo, Mazen Namikan most trusted. Everything that he says is a gospel. So we bring news from him. Now you understand. Um, let me go to my last topic because I say, like I said, I don't want to waste time here. I want to talk about a little bit about religion. Some of you that are saying that Jonathan should stop religion matter on Radio Biafra. I am still on Biafra television. I know very, very soon you people will still come there, but the problem about something about me is like, and I'm a GBK, if we are not no bomb, rapier. Because I have a lot of issues like us. I just start this live broadcast now, talk about our leader. You people that are thinking that you quell or you stop Mazi Jonathan to, to stop on Radio Biafra talking about religion. Mazi Jonathan, if I may tell you, this is my advice to you. Continue, don't stop. Anybody that believes that without him in this struggle, that this struggle is not going to continue, I want to tell him to go and ask about Ushemefo, ask about Omiomio, Rita Anabog, Obi Di Obi Eu, Kefa, uh, this man, um, man, um, man agrees. Okay, that's yeah. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, yes, yes. I've forgotten their names. Go and ask them if Ushemefo, form the second in command of Mazen Namdekano as a deputy. If we can put him in dustbin today, who are you? You are just nobody. Maji Jonathan, don't even listen to all these shenanigans. 
Mazi Jonathan, you know why I'm saying this? There is something they said they touched me. You know, I would like to mention name for you to understand because we don't shy away. I have called Donald before. I did a video about Donald and Marian Hader. Told them to go and create their platform. They shouldn't begin to manipulate the media warriors. After them. I don't know, maybe they thought that they have already getting to Mazi Jonathan. That Mazi Jonathan have stopped. I was seeing, I was finding it so difficult that all this inconsequential can talk to Jonathan and Jonathan will stop broadcasting what he's doing. I, you know, I don't want to call him, but uh, I just said, but Matt Jonathan, I was saying this to myself. Why should you stop? Are you listening to all this nonsense of this idiocy out there that they knows nothing? Are you going to listen to them? To stop the good work that you're doing? That Mazen Namdekano himself is the one that started it. Mazen Namdekano have made a several videos about religion. Mazen Namdekano have also called the Christian that the idiocy and the stupidity religion they brought to us that make us always fold our hands and the full will be killing us. We, we are going to be asking, praying and fasting every single day. Mazen Namdekano have said it. Mazen Namdekano have come and told you they are there stolen from you, buying private jet. You are telling Jonathan to stop. Mazen Jonathan, I'm here. Mazen, okay, now okay, chukum. I am just looking forward someday that I will find somebody now that will be my partner on Biafran television to begin to speak about religion. If I have we will talk. But there is something I want you people to know that will be my last, last, something, uh, last words, uh, my topic before I will just end it. I saw Iken Guruago. You know, uh, Iken Guruago is somebody that. I don't want to say things about the guy. He have mentioned my name a lot of times, but he thought that I would come and reply. I don't reply. You know, silence sometimes is best answer, but not always. Not always. Sometimes if you need to speak out, you are going to speak out. That is why I'm calling, uh, that's why I'm saying this. I saw Iken Guruago and Donald you know, I always saw Ikenga sometimes. He will say that uh, he's the first person that brought this. Is what, no, Ikenga, when you are talking about Matthias Ezak, I am the first person that brought Matthias Ezak on social media. Go there and check it. If you doubt it, I'll bring the date. It's in my Biafran child watch Nick. Go there. I know that you keep on saying this, but later you begin, since now you begin to understand. Now, let me tell you something. Ikenga, why I, I'm saying this to you, I want you to stop those nonsense that you are saying. It's been a long time. I never talk about you. And I never talk about you before. But I want you to understand this. This particular thing that I heard from you, it makes me feel that you are in other world. Maybe you are in Jupiter. You said on your broadcast, for anything to jeopardize your religion, if Biafra can jeopardize your religion, let Biafra not to come. You and Donald was there saying it. That is why when I know that Ikenga, you are a coward. You know, when I say this, you may say that I'm abusing you. No, it's not abuse. To be a coward is just because you lack ability to reason. If you can put religion first, your freedom, that means that you're not ready for freedom. That means that you are a gossiper. That means that you are a non-entity. You know, you will say that, why be a franchise is saying this? I have discussed with you a lot of times. There's a lot of things that you told me that I can never say here. That is a secret. But there's something about you. You don't know how to keep a, keep a secret. Somebody don't have to tell you to keep it. You know what is secret. 
you cannot just discuss with a leadership. You come out on social media, I discuss with this. So what? Are you doing this for people to see or to know that you are working direct with the leadership? That is what they call stupidity. And it's a very, 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 very dangerous disease. Say things on your own. Put the words in order. Make your statement. Don't mention people's name. You come out and begin to say, uh, if somebody tell you something, he should tell you not to say about it. Are you, are you, are, 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 are. So for you people, and I want to tell Donald, Donald, you don't have to begin to question the leadership. You are nobody, you are no entity. You are an idiot. Donald, Wosawa, resign yourself. Don't let anybody resign you. Pack your properties and leave IPOB. I am, I think, if I'm not mistaken also, I am the first person they brought Donald to my platform. But when I begin to understand the way he's moving, you know, I don't like people pushing me. Let's do this. Let's do No, I don't do that. When you begin to push me, let's come up, let's come up, let's come up. I don't bring you that. There's something hidden. As a Jumara, I'm the one that brought them. George, you made them. I still stop them. When you begin to front yourself, trying to push Bia franchise to always bring you, writing me a message, that is when I will begin to understand that because I do things when I want. I do things when I want, but when you begin to push, I will say no. There is intention. There is something behind it. But if you do not, you said that you are going to organize people. You are an idiot. You keep on yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. You are a non-entity. You are nobody in this struggle. If you think that you have contributed in this struggle, if you drop, you are gone. Likewise, Ikenga. Ikenga, I want you to also come out once again and denounce that thing that you said. That your religion is first before Biafra. I want you to come out and re renounce it. Biafra is our religion. You may practice anything that you want. Biafra is our religion. And Biafra supersedes any belief in our land. You people are saying that Mazen Nambekano is practicing Judaism. But they have made it clear. Biafra is our religion. What do you want him to say? I have said this time without number. You people are very, very daft in school. Very, very wicked species. You don't know that Mazen Namikano is looking for favor. You don't know that Mazen Namikano have seen how this earth, the ethics of this life, he needs a supporter. He needs people to support him. He needs some world power. Go to that zoo called Nigeria. Do you know people that are helping Fulanis? All this Arab country. They are helping them. Mazin Nam can have saw all these things. Those people that have brought us religion. England. Uh, Rome. They are not doing anything to us. They are not helping us at all. They are keep on using the warren chief and all this man of dog to deceive us. To keep us down. Why Fulanis are they are killing and maiming our people. Mazin Nam can say no. Let me stretch my hand. And trying to know if I can have help. If you warrant me to convert to their own, I will do it for me to get what I want. That is why, at the end, Mazen Nankan told you, Biafra is our religion. Can, can you people just reason? Can you people just reason? Can you people just reason? So, what I'm trying to tell you, Donald, you know, it's been a long time I call your name, the last one. I don't come here to, but I'm telling you that for you to know, one no one able, you are a non-entity. You are, animal is better than you. By saying, 
that if the leadership did not do anything about Jonathan broadcasting on Radio Biafra about religion, that you are going to resign, you are going to drop everything in your disposal. Chukuga Oroko, if you did not drop it. Donald, I'm saying this on Biafran television. I am also on Biafran television, and I'm from because of all these things that you people are doing, I will now find some partner that will begin to anchor with me with this religion. We are going to hit it. We are, you see this religion? We are going to hit it. Any one of you that feels that Christianities are majority that are, 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 are contributing in this struggle. I am also part of that Christianity, if you don't know. I was born as a Catholic. Now you understand. So don't be saying that Catholic, no Christians. Who are Christians? Do you know what is Christians? People, a religion that they brought you, they put you in submission. They killed your people. For them to accept the religion, you are now carried on your head. Like I said, you are comrade. I have kept a lot of secrets between me and you. Even though when you also go extend to my wife, I keep it because I know that you are nobody. You are just a small boy. You know nothing. And you know that what I did, what you asked me to do, I do it. I put my wife on camera that you speak to my wife. I keep the secret up to date. But if it's you, you could have come, social media begin to call, be a fan child, be a fan dad. I keep it. I know a lot of things that me and you have discussed that I keep it. Because I know that this is secret and I can never bring it out. But I want you to know this. You see that thing that you said. You have to come back again on your, on, your, on your page and begin to claim that Biafra is the ultimate. But if you say that Biafra, if your region cannot stand, let Biafra not to come. I will tell you you are not part of what we are doing. Religion is nothing. Religion is man-made. Even though the Yahweh, Yahweh Yeshua or Jesus Christ you are calling was not a Christian. The man we are talking about is a Jewish man. I don't know why you people don't know. Even though you people are supposed to be following Judaism, where did Jesus Christ come from? But you don't follow him. You follow Rome. Hypocrites. People that don't know what is facing them. They are telling you we want to untie our people. We want to bring back things that we have lost. They left that one you are talking about Umwejima. Oh my God. I don't want to go too much. I want to, I want to stop it here. But I want you people to know this. Ikenga, come back from where you are going. This is what I will tell you. If you continue on this, you know that you have done a lot of things before, even though during you shame for, you are still coming as a weak person you are. You are now praising Edo people. That to show your weakness, I am telling you the truth. You are showing the world your weakness. You are now also referring to autopilot. We started this fight together. I started this fight from the day one. I never deviate. Even though when you were calling me, have they paid me? When I was going to school, I keep on communicating with you. But I see that time comes that I have to come. I don't care about my school. But because Chuko Kikabiyama is with me, I went to school. Three years, I did my exam. Everything was so perfect. I couldn't even believe it. But I studied so hard to be able to make it because every day I'm coming on broadcast. I have to stubble, study double to be able to make it. And thanks to Koki that everything went well. My brother died in this struggle. I did not stop. I keep on broadcasting up to date. 
None of you, most of you cannot do that. So I want you people to know this religion you are believing is not going to take you to any place. And if you continue like this, believe you me, it's better you pack your properties and go and sit down. And you know that if you leave this struggle, nothing will happen. I see you threatening, saying that uh, if they did not stop Jonathan, we are going to see what's going to happen. Ikenga, you are not going to do anything. You know, I don't want to use harsh words, but I'm just trying to tell you, you are not going to do anything. You are just on your page calling that Christians are the people that are paying most. You want to draw their attention. You want to put this ideology to them to withdraw themselves. You are a coward. I'm the one that said it. You know, I never talked to you in this manner before. You have called my name many times and people came out to defend me and I thank them. I thank Mwada Sharugo. I think Maze uh, Osoji, I thank you people. They defend me. Not that I cannot defend myself, but I just see it like a Shokamuna Oba saga. No, I don't do that. So one thing I want you to do is this. Stop calling upon people. Do your own thing. Go to your page. Begin to counter people. Don't call follow Christians. Most of our people understand what we are saying. They do understand. The religion called Christian, there is a fault on it. Maybe it's because of the version they brought to us. Maybe I can put it in that form. The version they brought to African people, there is a fault on that. But in general, there is a fault on Christianity. I don't lie about it. We are living in Western world. The same Israel you are calling the God of Israel, the God of this, uh, the, they are the people that say, if you call Jesus Christ, you go to prison. The same people you are calling their God. You don't even call the God of Okeke. You don't even call the God of uh, Okafo. You don't go call the God of Nkwo, Oye Afo, Oye. You don't call them. You are calling the God of somebody that you don't know. And they are telling you, you, are, you carry it on your head. That is a life. Christianity is a way of life. Way of who and who. Which life? Which life? Which life? Unfortunate, you travel to South Africa, you begin to do your business, it's moving well with you. Now you target to God or Jesus Christ. So you don't know that I'm doing well. So you don't know that I'm living fine. So you don't know before. That is why sometimes I don't reply you when you talk to me because you have a very tiny you you think very tiny you think very very small and you don't know how to put words let me tell you something to speak english or to put your sentence in order or accurate that does not mean that does not means that you are a well learned person no Common education. Common one. You will come out and begin to shout, do this. Ikenga. If you go away from this struggle, nothing. We don't even know that somebody is, is gone. I am telling you. Just use yourself at, as the time of which you may fall. When you were yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. You heard what Ushemefo said about Mazen Namdekan. You are still there telling us that you love them. I can never do this. I can never do that. Because Mazen Namdekan is not your real brother. If he is his, your real brother and you are in good time with him, somebody will hate him so much like that and you will go and love him. You will be proud. You will be proud. Telling people, yes, I love him. Yes. 
I still tell people I know the reason why you keep on saying that you love Ushemefo. I never say that thing up to date. We discuss about that. And I know what I told you about Ushemefo. You don't because he was in that position to do that. We have a lot of people also here in Germany that they helped because they are in that position. You don't have to know, you don't have to take it because Ushemefo is the one that called and be able to put that things in place because he is in that position to do it. And IPOB is the one that gives him that position, that position and that authority to be able to do that. If he's not, um, if, he, if Ushemefo was not part of IPOB, he can never do that for you. I told you this. I never bring it out. It's a secret for you. But if it's you, you walk up to but I'm coming here to tell you this. I never talked to you in this manner before. Regardless what you did, what you did to, to me and my wife, I'd rather call you back, begin to speak to you. Normal in normal circumstance, I supposed to cancel you that first day you speak to my wife and told my wife what you told my wife because you see me, I have built my household, I have built my family to the extent there is no man born of a woman can put asunder. You can't do it. You can't do it. I don't just marry a white woman, but I have put everything in place. I could have cancelled you in totality. But I did not. I keep on talking to you to tell you that you are still little. But if I told you today to open your phone, let me speak to your wife. You can't. But I did it to show you that I'm just reminding you. And that thing that you told my wife is still a secret. Unless you come out tomorrow to open it and tell people what you told my wife. But I want you today to know that we are still, everything is still moving fine. To show you that we are not in the same level. And we can never be in the same level. When I start hustling, Mozambique, in Mozambique, when I started hustling, when I came to Europe, you are still in Mozambique, in Kanababoy. I know, I know all these things. But I'm just trying to tell you why I'm feeling all this anger is because you came out. You open your mouth saying that if Biafra can stop your legion, not Biafra not to come. That is a useless word from you. And that word that you speak out from your mouth makes you the most stupidest man on this earth. I'm the one that I'm going to say it. If you like, you can use my name. You have been calling my name all this while, but you know, I never replied to you. And you know that that to show you that we are not in the same level. That is why I never reply you in all those times that you were calling my name. You were saying that a person wants to talk, you should call your name. Now, Methuselah now is calling you. You say you love Saga. You are begging, you are saying that you don't want Saga. You see, everything have that. I will tell you to forget about this religion. Ikenga, I remember when Mazin Namdekano was calling when ESN just came out. You are telling our people to go and fortify themselves. So you are telling them to go and die. Is it what you are telling them? These guys, sometimes you don't know how to talk. I saw you many times. You tell people, if you need Dibia, I'm going to give you Dibia. Go and fortify yourself. You don't know where you are. You, don't, you are just... You just nah, 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 nah. Brew a football, a football no name in our bagale. You know nothing. You are knows nothing. You are just a little boy that just learning. But he put in a queen, a queen, one, 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 he can. I'm telling you honestly speaking, on way both we room now. In times of life, properties and things, you reach it on way busy we room. But all this struggle brought us together. Like I said, I supposed to delete you in my life, but because of this struggle, people that Mazin Namdekano called their name, all of them have deviated. Then I said, 
Ikenga is speaking about Biafran Restoration Project. Why can't I call him and let us start? That is why I was calling you. Nothing else. Nothing else. That is why I keep on speaking with you. But I know if it's you that I ever made that call on your wife, even though talk less of some people, they never, just because of things they did, you cancel them, you block them on your phone, you block their phone because of one thing. They never get to your family, you block their phone. But you call me, you tell me to put the video call with my wife. That is something that you're going to say. I did it. You told my wife what you want to tell my wife. My wife was laughing at you. He, my wife asked you, is it what you want to tell me? My wife was laughing at you. But I did not block you. I did not cross you because of Biafran Restoration Project. Without this, you are nobody. In every ramification, what I said, in every life or ramification of life, we are not made. We are not in the same level. Ask people that are here. They will tell you. All because of Biafran restoration. Nothing else. I will stop you here. I thank you all for listening. This is the advice I have with Ikenga. That he should retrieve his steps. And continue doing what he's doing. Because if he think that he can, he's going to mobilize people, I'm telling him he's a liar. He cannot do more than a dead rat. And when he step aside on this Biafran restoration, his own is gone. Nobody will remember him. And he knows that very well. He knows that. You see all these good words people are praising me. If I just step my foot away, I am nobody. I am nobody. Nobody is going to talk about me. This is how it is. This is this movement. This is the ethics of this movement. For Donald, Donald, I am telling you, if you did not hand over every properties of IBOB that in your disposal and the position that you are occupying at this moment, if you never go and drop all those things, to the family you belong to. Ngwaguna chukuga ogoku hundred times. Chukuga ogoku hundred times. If you did not mobilize those Christians that you want, because you came before, you say you want to mobilize, and you see that it cannot work. <coughs> it cannot work. Now you come back now and say you are going to resign. You are very stupid if you don't resign. Mazi Jonathan. My advice to you, Marzi Jonathan, continue. Marzi Jonathan, I'm telling you, continue, don't stop. Because Mua now, I will start on Biafran television. The religion now will start on Biafran television. Then we begin before we start, we will play you the voice of Mazen Namdekano about religion. We are going to play you about two shame for Amazon Namdekano. I have told you, Donald, Dr. Dr. Koko Donald, resign. Stop contributing. Come against Biafra. Or anything you can do, you do. Go and join Ushame for Ikenga. You can also deviate. Drop everything that is in your disposal. Go and join Ushemefo and love him more. Go and take Obi, the Obi as your father. Reject your own father, your biological father. Take him as your father. Take Ushemefo as your, 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 your family first son. Take him. It's not a problem. But stop all those nonsense you are talking about. Ushemefo is gone, he's gone. It's no more part of this. The kind of evil that Ushemefo have carried since he left this struggle, have murdered a lot of our people. There were people that died in Afarukui Bay, who was Ushemefo, is the one that we are commanding them to go and die. I was, I was listening to a radio Biafra the same, that fateful day. They were calling Ushemefo, they are killing us. Ushemefo tell them, go back. 
go back there and die in what you believe, which is Biafran restoration, which is our religion. Now you are deviating, telling us that a uh, uh, way of life. One uh, go and sit down, pack your properties and leave. Pack your properties and and with this thing that you said, if you did not come back again and denounce it, that if Biafra will take over your religion, let Biafra not to come. I am urging every one of you for somebody to say something like this. Use your common sense. It's not part of us. I will rest my case here. And I thank you all for joining me today. As you remain, your royal servants. It's a very, very pity. It's a very, very pity. But I will stop it here. Remain blessed, my great people.